do a commute home, shall we? See if we can uh, behave ourselves. One thing about getting on a cold bike, newer modern bikes aren't as bad, but if you get an older bike, like this one, I've gone from a 2012 with lovely, clean, more modern fuel injection to a, a 2007 older bike, it, there's a, it's just a less of a, a bit more character in this you'd call it, it's um, more likely not to carburate, for want of a better word, even though it is fuel injection. It's clear it's throw after I've woke it up, it doesn't do it very quickly. So when you just set off and you're just bimbling, just make sure you've warmed the bike up for a minute or two. Just get it, it's very easy to lose slow speed control of a bike if you're not used to it or it's it's cold. Let it get warmed up before you start asking any more of it than you might normally. Okay, he was indicating right and he's gone straight on. But I swear we'll have a look at that, but I bet you any money he was turning right. That's why I went down the left-hand lane. So he's changed his mind, I suspect. I might be proven wrong when I upload this. Right. Let's have a look and see what's occurring. Not getting too close. This is right street. It's quite a dangerous little street. This is lots of little side streets, causes many problems. It's very rarely without incident. I think what we'll do is go around Whitmore Square, which is a massive roundabout. It's got this pedestrian crossing with a little trolley. She's got a dog in a trolley. And I'm gonna just nip out in front of this Commodore. Okay, a bit close to the Amarok. I'm gonna go right around this little bit of green parkland. I've got a right hand slip road, which I'm gonna take now. Just watch this Amarok change his mind. He's a little bit, bit cute with his lanes. Okay, as I come around here, I'm actually going to take a left. Shoulder check, looking at the road, look up the road. Which this you on the left, as I see me with this trailer he has. Car coming towards me, turning right, I'll just squeeze up to this one a little bit. Safety in numbers, and I'll drop back again. As I can see into the distance, we've got red traffic lights. People jockeying for position in the car, reversing out. You might better see him now. We're still good. I'm going to be turning right, just watching, slowing down. But I'm also going to be looking for a chance to lane split a bit here. See who's doing what. I suspect we might not get through here, but the fact that I've got a motorbike gives me the opportunity to do a bit of this. a bit of progress. Right, I'll back off now. Shoulder check there, I'm going to go over to the left hand lane, just watch this, the Brina doesn't do the same. Too quickly, she has done. Okay, it's just, I can't use that left hand lane, it's a bus lane, currently. 7am to 7pm, sign's just up there. I'll have to wait till I get to the left hand side in a second. Still a bus lane until about now. Left shoulder, make sure nobody's been a bit cute. And in we go. Just watch for this Brina changing lanes again, she has done. Backing it off slowly, just watch these cars behind me. There's one dropping in behind me now, a white Hilux. Just gonna... We're good, we've got them all slowed down. I was watching for the gap, but we're good. Okay. Rear brake on, I don't want that sudden dive on my forks. As I'm trying to brake. And everybody's very slow here at the moment, nobody's going. Okay. I don't know why they are going so slow, there's no reason for it. Everybody's gone into the outside lane here, I'm about at the speed limit now, and everybody's bimbling that. Very slow Renault turning left, was just sat in the outside lane and was watching them. I'm on the speed limit and they're doing less and seems to be oblivious to everybody that's around her. Okay, slight brow, green traffic lights. I think left lane, if it's coming out, that is a giveaway, so we've still got to be careful there. And it is. Right. 
gone red. Brake lights and a set of traffic lights coming up as it drops down. I'm going to be going straight on. And I'm just going to slow down here and get a view of what's going on. Give everybody a chance to have a bit of a play. I can't do much here. I'll tell you why. I've got my panniers on. I'm going to do a little bit of a split, but I ain't going to get far. My mirrors are about are quite a good gauge here because they're about a centimetre and a half wider than my mirrors and my panniers, so I can gauge that quite well as long as I don't turn too quickly. I'm back off now. Lane splitting in South Australia like that is legal if you've got a full licence and you're not doing over 30 k's an hour. I'm going to be going right at the next junction following that rather splendid Ford Mondeo which is a superb vehicle. You don't get many of them here. This is a surprise now we should better get a go. Is he going to keep going to the middle of the road like he should do? Is he going to the middle of the junction? Sort of. He's sort of stopped about 10 foot from where he can do but there you go. Let's give him a bit of a push. Move forward mate. Have I got a camera here? No I'm beyond it. So he could easily drop a lot further forward and let me into the junction but he's not doing. It's a bit frustrating for the guy behind who can't drop him behind but there you go. Right, go on, make an effort, make an effort. Force the issue, come on. Shoulder check, right hand lane, just watch she turn into my lane. And we're good. Okay. Again, queuing traffic, it's that time of the day. Nothing to be gained by racing up here. The cool cats will just bimble through areas like this. And I am tonight one cool cat. I can see lots of traffic in this lane, despite the fact that I've got a bus and a Ford, sorry, and a Ford Ranger. They're swapping lanes, I'm going out of this lane. And I'll have a look down the inside here, get some good views of these junctions. Watch, I've got a lot less traffic here, it's a shopping trolley. Now watching this Ford U, he shouldn't, the one, this white one on the right hand lane, shouldn't be swapping lanes here. And he's, he's not able to now. Just watching that. Okay, that's good. At this point, I've got a chance again for a bit more of a split. Again, being careful with my... Uh, you see this car coming across to my right? Just eyes peeled. Now we're moving. We'll have a bit of this, shall we? Just pick your gap, pick your moment. You know you've got the power. Doesn't need to be frenetic. Just needs braking here. Just needs to be precise and not indecisive. You can't afford to make in, be indecisive. You've got to make a decision and go with it. Well, let's make it on his KTM. I'm sure he's going to have a lot more of a chance of splitting than I have. He's far slimmer than me with my panniers. I'm not going to get that far here. I'll have a bit of a bimble, but I'm not going to get too far because of my, my boxes, as I said. But we'll see how it goes. He's got some nice bright indicators on that KTM. And as I'm down the middle here, of course, I've got a... I've also got to think about all the motorcyclists behind me. Just because I can't get through, it doesn't mean they can't. So there's nobody behind me at the moment wanting to do what I'm doing. So I'm not holding anybody up. And as I say, it's, it's, it's perfectly legal to do this in South Australia. Now, some people call lane splitting. Their, their, their version of lane splitting is when you're doing 70 or 80 miles an hour down dual carriageways. We can't do that. You, you can't do it unless you're doing... 30 k's or less. And as I said, you've got to have a full license. Again, I'll just pick my spot here. I'll have that one. Bit of lane swapping. Lots of clutch control. I'm not doing too bad considering I've got the panniers. I'm making a reasonable bit of progress here. It's quite a busy spot. 
and again I'm just watching my mirrors I'm watching nobody's wanting to split with me he's turned left with that indicating again I've got some reasonable gaps here I'm not going to make that one not with these boxes on however I can see what's happening I can see which is the fastest moving so I can get out here now this truck is likely to shut any doors on me I'm not going to race through that gap, I'm going to get it now. And I'm just going to hold this position here, I've got a good view of this left hand lane as well. Watch the bus. Okay. Great position to be in here, I can see the, straight down the gap, the uh, KTM's about to jump through. Again, no other bikers behind me, that are being held up by my panniers. And at this point I'm going to find a gap here. doing well now I've got a pedestrian crossing here so I don't want to just blast through here even though it's on a green wouldn't be safe for pedestrians you imagine cl clipping something on a pedestrian crossing you're going to be in a whole world of shit I've said that before again as you're looking for gaps just make sure there's nobody jumping between cars again 30k is an hour maximum as far as I'm concerned there that's me doing and we have split that quite well We'll progress through here. Lanes one and two turn into one lane, so the chances are some people might want to move out. Just watching here, like that Range Rover Discovery, Land Rover Discovery, what well, he was indicating. He might have just been squeezing it, now he's doing it. So we'll let him across. We'll watch Matey in the U here. I'm a little bit in his blind spot on the left. Drop back. And we'll go from here. Now I've got options. I'm just going to flick across the left hand lane. Let's see how we progress here. And I'll tell you why. This major habit that people have got in uh, South Australia is not keeping left on dual carriageways unless overtaking. And with that in mind, it generally opens up the left hand lane. And they all sit in the outside lane. Look, see that discovery. There's no reason for that white car to go into the outside lane. None. What are we doing out there? Straight out there. It's bullshit, really. Unless you're overtaking, you don't need to be out there. And for, as a motorcyclist, I'm safe as ours here. I've got no concerns from vehicles on my left because there's a wall. I've got all I've got to concentrate on is what's in front of me and what's in me on my right hand side to my rear, but nothing on my left shoulder. I've got a good view down the inside there. On my left hand side now, I've got a slip road, so I'm going to keep have a glance over my right shoulder, and I've got cars coming down, so now I'll go out and give them some space. But by rights, that truck should come out if he's a good driver, but he isn't doing. But he has now, look. So what we'll do now is squirt past him, and we've given all these cars a bit of room to get out. And now, I've got a little bit of stuff happening, I'm just going to... At this point, now I'm safe to go back in again. Again, people coming out to the middle lane, not really required. Best lane is the left-hand lane, however, yeah, it is actually going to change in about half a K. That left, that this left-hand lane will change and disappear, and goes into two. But at this point, I'm going to back off have a good look at where the traffic is not much queuing it's quite good it's usually queuing from here I'm not going to go up the inside despite the fact the opportunity is there I'm going to go out, come out here and now let everybody sort themselves out I'm nice and safe I've got as I said I've got traffic behind again I've got a slip road coming to my left hand side so I'll be watching for cars there I will have a quick glance we're good, nothing coming up the slip road that I need to be concerned about. Now, similar situation here. Left hand lane goes straight on. Watch for any of these cars coming up the inside and splitting the old cross on me. Perfect opportunity here just to join this bit of traffic. love having a motorbike in situations like this, it's, uh, it's pretty splendid, isn't it? We'll have 
some of that. Actually, this is not bad. I can see all the way down here. And what I'm going to do is just check that shoulder. Make sure that silver comma does not get in too close. This is quite tight here. We've got road works and as such, we've just got to take a little bit of care because people are going to be... I'll hold my own in the middle lane here until I get a gap. You can almost control them because I'm, I'm going at the flow of the traffic. I'm not holding anybody up. So what I'll do now is just stick with it. Look at that. Beautiful. An old Lancer, look at that. Now that's splendid. That's an Evolution 3, I think. That is sweet. There's some money in that. Now, we ain't getting far at this stage. Let's have a move around here, let's see what we can see. We're doing okay. Bad road surface. Mate is coming out, we'll give him a bit of space. Right, straight on here. Temptations to get right up the arse of this uh, car. And you've got to be careful that we're not going to get any as much as it would be great to get up his ass and also get through that green light but you're asking for trouble being up somebody's ass it's just not worth it you might as well just leave a bit of a gap in case anything happens happens in the junction it's always very tempting to when you see a green light and you just want to make sure you get through it so just edge up a little bit but the, t the risks just start increasing here, truck, squirt past. Now, I'm actually going to get into the left hand lane here. It's all a little bit congesting the outside lane as well. And as I get to the end of here, this road work finishes. This left lane here behind this wall opens up for us. And a lot of people, again, like I said back there, are just going to sit in that middle and outside lane. And the left hand lane will be, I can guarantee, the clearest. I'm going to go now, I'm not going to undertake yet because this, we're just getting towards the end of it. A couple of these cars will come off left. And if I stay in this lane, typical to call me a liar, there's one gone. But this is going to be the clearest lane through. We're up to the speed limit and that's just lovely. And I'm in a safe spot again, I've got protection from the wall on the left. No, I could scream down the outside, but I ain't gonna gain anything. I'm gonna gain five or six seconds by the time I get to the end of this uh, stretch of road. So we'll just sit it out here, nice and safe. This is the, uh, the north-south motorway. I'm currently at Regency Park suburb of ish or over the top of it I'm on an elevated freeway just squeezing up on this uh, that Punto's moved out or it looks like a Punto it's an MG how dare they badge it as an MG piece of shit that anyway lovely little MX-5 just watch, he's not going to change lane into my lane. I want to have his mirror there. He's got one of them lovely little blind spot warning lights on his mirror. Which look good. Cracking little Fiesta. Slip road. Now, one of these situations where it's just a habit that I've got that I like doing. I don't want to come into that lane until the inside lane of the slip road has gone. I'll wait till it's gone and then I'll move over. Got Border Express truck. I expect he's going to come off left. He says left lane must exit, but actually they're old signs. I don't think that's the case anymore. Because you, you can in fact go straight on in this lane. I'll see what this truck does. I'm coming off on the left-hand slip road. There's an actual slip road. So I, I disagree with the left lane must exit. Let's see what this truck does. Proof is in the uh, pudding. Straight on. 
Okay. Big left hand slip road, joining another road. Relax into it. These are for getting up to the speed limit. Speed limit on here is 90. A couple of lads on bikes up front. We'll just squirt up this slip road, get beyond this lot in case they come in on me. We'll get to this road here. This lane goes left. This lane also finishes. So I'm actually nipping straight back out here now because what's happening is my left hand lanes are closing. Couple of lads here on the bikes. Riding nicely, good head. You see that? Good bit of head movement. Love it. Very splendid. Love it. So what we got, shall we have a look? That's nice, is that a Honda C Ninja Kawasaki Ninja? That'll be a 300. Get out of there in case he just wants to come out of this thing. Because that, because that slip road was coming out, it was worth just giving, I was giving him a gap to come out or squirting past them. They've they actually now both dropped in behind me, which is good. I'm in this mirror, I can see the guy's head in this mirror here. So he's got me clocked if he needs to, he's got a good mirror. Watching these guys behind there tucked in nicely. I'll just squirt through now. We're in a good position here. Too quick here. Coming into a 60 road very shortly. That's where the guy's braking, so we'll back it off now. The reason it's a 60 road is the uh, brow of the hill and the traffic lights over the other side. It's this bridge, so you know there's going to be no um, queuing traffic. There often is, but never this far back, so we should be good. Just double checking everything. We've got Matey in the left hand limb. You can just see him, he's got no lights on, which isn't helpful. Two lads on the motorbikes have got really good headlights. Right, as you can see, we've got queuing traffic. Double check everything. Now, as I'm dropping down here, we're looking good. Quite uh, quite tight with these four vehicles on my left, so I'll just make sure I don't get too entangled in these two. We've got one ticked off. That Mazda, this first SUV here, could possibly turn, change lanes, but maybe not. We're doing well. See what's occurring. He's going left, they're both going left. I've got the guy in the trailer in front, so we're safe. Am I going to lane split? Potentially. Yeah, I can. Just enough space to watch the guys behind. They've done well, them two. They're not allowed to lane split and because they haven't got full licenses. They're both on the rails. I've, I've actually broke the law slightly there by going over the solid white line. By the letter of the law, I've got to stay behind it, but what I wanted to do was make sure that the uh, trucky could see me from his elevated position. So I did. Am I going to get a green or are they going to get an arrow to turn right? They're getting an arrow to turn right in front of me. At this point, I'm not going to bang in a neutral. As soon as I get my green, I'm going. Quick glances. We're good. Got a feeling that the lads on the bikes will drop in behind. They're good lads, they too. Good indicators. They've dropped in behind me. They've dropped across the front of the truck into that left hand lane, which I like. Nice work. As you can see now, I've got a right to left hand bend over the bridge and there's another set of traffic lights which you can't see. Over the brow. Keeping in mind them traffic lights, the chances are that it won't be queuing, it's not too busy tonight. 
we'll just get a good view shortly they are red and a little bit of queuing traffic but no big issues using the back brake there, covering it off nice not getting too close there's no point in changing and bouncing across back and forth in lanes here, I'll just use this left hand lane lads are still behind me junction to my left, oh, car's there ok, we're doing good Itch. Nah. You might as well, mate. Because you're causing me problems here. That's not useful, mate. <laughs> I'll say now while you're riding. Think about what you're doing, mate. Early indicator there was this danger. Because he was coming to a junction which can cause a bit of confusion but we'll let it go other than that they were doing well onwards I'm going to go left here at these lights early indicator last 50 metres of this bright bright, bright lane I can actually use to stop people going up my ass. as long as I'm not hindering any cyclists Now, do I keep the left hand side here? Do I hell? I want to be right in the middle of the lane here. I've got a good view of everything. I'm not hindering anybody. Do be prominent. Be in a good position so that you can see everywhere. Indicating right now, before I even start looking at slowing down. We'll get the right gear. For this bike is first through this junction. Difficult on such a, on these mini roundabouts to get a left-hand indicator in, isn't it? You should always get into that habit as you're coming off a roundabout. Indicate off it. Back in here a little bit. Watching the bus and back out again. Just watching for that vehicle coming the other way. I'm going to go left at this next roundabout, and that'll be my lot. That's my commute home, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls. And um, I enjoyed that tonight, it was a good little bimble, a bit of lane splitting. I'll wait for Matey and his Mitsubishi. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining me, have a good night, keep safe, ride safe.